Oh no, it's gonna be. Oh no. There's an ambulance and a police car near the subway entrance. Is it Cynthia? Probably. I mean, they just described her. I have a feeling we're probably doing this. Look at it this way. We were watching her the other day from our window. And then he had a fantasy about her in this other world. And now she turns up dead. I have a bad feeling that Henry is um, possibly the bad guy in this game. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Also, some of these watching scenes are very long. Unusually long. Hmm. Weird. What is she doing? I wonder if there's any, ever anything hidden in the background. Like, if you look out around, you can see something crazy happen. Well, we have our items. Hmm. Well, I guess that's about as much as we can see. All right, let's put some of these. Oh, we have a note at the door. All right, let's uh let's put the bullets in here. Yeah, it's like it looks like it's Egyptian. No, no, I don't want to take it. Although we might need it. What do you think? I think I think we're going to leave it for now. We definitely should save our game. I don't know what's going to happen next. He screams. Ah! Every time he saves. Xbox hard disk. What console did you guys grow up with? My first console ever was a PS2, believe it or not. And um, and because of that, I generally um, stuck with PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation and a computer. I either, I either played on computer because I did a lot of modding and, uh, and a lot of attempts at game development. So I either uh, played on PC or PlayStation. Um, I often liked playing PlayStation just because it was more convenient. You know, there's only so much space you can have on a computer. And if you don't have the money to really trick your computer out, it's a lot cheaper for most people just to get like a console that you can just buy a quick disc or download. And um, just it's more efficient, especially if you're working a lot. So um, that's why I generally stuck with PlayStation. But I never, um, never got too much into Xbox. I had friends. Like growing up, most of my friends that I had, they were all Xbox only. And they were all like, why are you playing PlayStation? Get an Xbox already. And then eventually when they when they got into college, they were like, all right, we'll all get a PlayStation so we can play together. And now they, to the to this day, I'm still friends with one of them. Um, he still is like, I only got this damn PlayStation because you would never get an Xbox. Um, I'm gonna have to reread that. Although the cult itself is gone, I'm sure the spirit of it is still alive. There are too many strange things happening in that town. I'm investigating two people, or maybe I should just say one. I've just about discovered what's going on. April 8th. Hmm. But yeah, seriously, let me know. Um, I'm curious what you guys played when you were growing up. I know most of you probably played, um, if I had to guess, 
I would assume a lot of you guys probably played something earlier than a PS2, like maybe PS1 or Nintendo 64 or something. I was alive. If I would have got consoles when I was a really young kid, I probably would have played those. But um, I didn't get my first console until I was a little older. I, I didn't really have uh, access to gaming stuff. All right, let's um, not go in there. Are we going to go back in? I feel like there's probably something we're missing. Let's um, let's check our neighbor through the hole. This game really likes their holes. Silent Hill 4, The Holes. Starring, sh what was that movie? Who was it? Holes? We can spy on our neighbor again. Why? Because our we're a creep. What is she doing? Oh, she's watching what's going on outside. That's right. And then we just see the bunny slowly turn its head. That would be creepy. It's going to be really disturbing if she suddenly peeks in the hole. And we're like, <gasps> oh no. Are there faces on her bed sheets? Maybe it's just pareidolia. But I feel like I see faces on her bed sheet. Or, or in her comforter. It's like right um, in the middle. It looks like there's a face like laying flat looking up. I don't know if you guys see that or not. I think it's probably just uh, pareidolia. I used to... So I, have, I used to do um like uh pareidolia as a art form so what i would do is i would get coworkers back when i worked in the medical field to just do a bunch of scribbles or scratches and like a sticky note and they just do a bunch of scribbles and then i would look at it and i would um immediately let my brain see an image or a face or a picture and then i would trace the lines and turn it into some sort of creature or um face and they all thought it was really cool um i would do that way too much <laughs> i probably wasted a little too much time doing it but it was fun. Is if you if you have a strong sense of pareidolia, you can really take advantage of it and use it like that just to create art out of nothing. All right. Well, I guess we've seen everything we can see here, so I think we probably need to move on. Also, we never check this closet. I don't. I don't think there's really anything of importance in it. I started in the good old yeah nest. Well, that's cool. I wish I would have started on some of that. My um, one of the one of the people I'm living with now, he uh, is really into old games, and he has a bunch of like really old, valuable games, um, some rare ones that he, he's like collecting that are really cool. He was showing me some of his collections. He explained to me the whole thing about the old cartridges and how like you had the four screw versus the five screw. And how much more valuable the five screw is. Now he's collecting all the five screw ones. And he has like a golden five screw. Actually, I probably shouldn't say which ones. He probably wouldn't want people knowing. But yeah, he, he's, he's, he's developing a collection, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, I guess there's really nothing in this closet. No, he found out that I was trying to find all the old Silent Hill games, and he was just showing me uh, different places I can go to where people like try to sell old games. And I went to some of them, and they were like, you're not going to find any of the Silent Hill games for under like $200. Or, or $100 for some of them. And uh, I found some for under that. <laughs> it, it wasn't easy, but I did find some. And so I, I just, I'm just waiting for them to ship in, and then we can uh, play through the whole series. All right, I guess we're going back in. There doesn't seem like there's much else we can do. The hole's getting bigger. It is getting bigger. That's not good. Yeah, like some of the Silent Hill games, like um, Shattered Memories, I, I got lucky and I found someone who was selling like just their loose disc. Because otherwise, if you buy, buy it in decent condition or in its case, it's going to cost you nearly $500. Like I am not, I, I cannot spend that much on a, on an old game. Wait, now we're outside.
Oh, this is creepy. It's too dark to see. So what was your, uh, Diabolic, what was your favorite game on the NES? The right, the weird, there's weird writing here too. Hmm. Someone carved some kind of weird writing. Weird. Man, this, this is a really cool Silent Hill. It feels, it doesn't feel like the other ones. It definitely feels very distinct. I like it quite a bit. There's weird writing here too. There's a lot of weird writing. It's the coyotes, they're seeking revenge. They know what I did. Like you killed our leader, the alpha coyote. Wiley. Are you sure Wiley? I don't think Wiley would be alpha. It's like, uh, actually Vladimir, coyotes don't have alphas. Do not enter. Well, you know what we gotta do, we gotta enter. There's a hole. No, we're not gonna enter the hole. We've entered a lot of holes today. We're going to we're um we're not gonna enter one just yet. I'm sure we'll have to do it later anyway. No, 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 we're leaving, can we bypass this area? Mm-mm. We're leaving, guys. I'm not. I'm not having any of that. Can we throw ourselves down this well? I would rather do that. Henry, just jump in. We're, if those are if those are wasps, this is not happening. <laughs> We're not doing that. Oh man, we have to do it. Oh my gosh, I think I've told you guys. Not much scares me, but I have a big problem with wasps and hornets and stinging insects. They're just flies. They're just flies. They're just flies. <laughs> I don't want to do this. We can do this. We can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. It's the sound. Can we run past him? Okay, they, they do sting you. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> we can't enter this building. They're not wrong. This is danger. Do not enter for a good reason. We should not, Henry, just go home. Let's just quit. We can't play Silent Hill 4. We have to, we have to stop the series now. Oh man, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Luckily it's not as bad as Resident Evil Biohazard. 
By the way, I don't. We're when that. I think the um, PlayStation VR two comes out next month, and we're gonna play through Biohazard and Village in VR. And I played through Biohazard in the first PlayStation VR, and the Wasp part was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do, probably in general in life. <laughs> and I've been through quite a lot. Um, oh man, this is. I had to get someone to help me get through that. So, you guys are going to see me terrified whenever we do that. Alright, we're going to try to run past them. Okay, they're moths. They're just moths. They're just moths. They're not wasps. They're wasps. I mean, they're they're hornets. I mean, they're 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 moths. We made it. We made it. We made it. They're they're just moths. Where do we go? Where do we go? Okay, good. That wasn't so bad. I also was expecting it to be a lot worse. The engine's still running and the driver's seat door is open. Okay. Let's get in. We're going to steal a car. It stopped with the brake pedal engaged. There are all sorts of things scattered on the seat. Among the trash is a scrap of paper with something written on it. It's been a while since I came here to Silent Hill. Maybe I'll meet the devil this time. But whenever I come to a cool place like Silent Hill, I always get real thirsty. Jasper Gein. So is Jasper a vampire? There's a memo pad in there too. I'm not sure what that nosy guy meant when he said his home is the orphanage in the middle till the lake is northwest, so the opposite is southeast. The nosy guy said one thing I don't understand. If you bring the dug-up key, you can't go back. Put it away somewhere before you return there. Hmm. Was there anything else we could get out of here? Anything else? There probably was more in that building, but I honestly, I don't feel like exploring it. <gasps> we found someone. Let's uh, look around him before we go talk to him. Ooh, we got a health drink. Probably could use that. All right, I guess let's talk to him. Hmm. 
Is, was, if, was he the driver? Did he get a concussion when he crashed? Or does he just have a stutter? <laughs> I was just curious if it would let us do it, okay? Apparently he's made of stone. Yeah, nothing happens. This rock is creepy somehow. It is kind of creepy. Let me do some field sobriety tests on him. Damn it, Vlad, hitting an innocent man. Look, I was just checking to make sure he was real. I don't think he is. Either that or his concussion from his accident. It was really bad. Yeah, he's just talking to himself. I think we need to call the medics for him. Hello, I'm from Brazil, and I love this Silent Hill. It was your oh, it was your first one? Well, um, I'm actually playing through the whole series. Uh, we I recently played through the first three, and now I'm onto this one, and uh, I'm enjoying it. It's very different from the other ones. But yeah, uh, welcome. Nah, better call Saul. We could call Saul, but let's be honest. What would Saul do in this scenario? Which I don't think Saul would drive out here. I think he'd look at the map, look at the history, and be like, no. <laughs> There's no way I am going there. He'd stay where he is. This, I'm going to run past these dogs. I'd rather not... Uh, I'd rather not fight them. Why are there like bodies in the trees? Nope. We're not giving the dogs the time of day. I'll give this one the time of day though. Come here, doggy. I missed. Surprise. Oh, damn it. All right. That dog will live. <laughs> He's not being that aggressive anyway. <gasps> He's got friends. Silent Hill Smile Support Society Wish House. That's the orphanage run by the cult, huh? You know, how did the cult get approval to run an orphanage? Hello, you'd like to apply to run the orphanage? Would you like us to put your name under um the cult? <laughs> oh, perfect. How many children would you like? Wait, can we not go in? Okay, we can't. All right, we got another another hole in the wall. This game, the, you know, that's one of my favorite things about the Silent Hill franchise so far is each one feels so distinctly different. Like, it, it has the same kind of tone, but the enemies are different, the story feels different, and the certain themes are different. So, like, this one, the whole theme is holes. <laughs> it's like never before the other games where you're crawling through holes all the time. This one, it's like holes are your safe zone, your safe place. You just you crawl in, go home. You save your game, store your loot, nothing attacks you. Must be some kind of kid's toy. Hmm. Although I will say, I really don't trust this main character. I really think that he must, that he's got to be probably the bad guy. I don't, I just the way the story's going so far, I don't trust him. Hello, doggies. Um, let's let's uh, finish exploring in here before we go further. In fact, if I was smart, I'd go back home and save. Yeah, let's let's do that just to be safe. Then we'll explore this place. I will say though, if we play one more Silent Hill game and we have to go to that damn hospital, I'm gonna pull my hair out. I'm so sick of that hospital. I know the layout so well. I probably know the layout better than where I, than where any place I've lived in my life now.
I could do a blind speed run of the hospitals. Not really. Is that the doorbell or my phone? <laughs> the scream. <laughs> Why he's got to scream when he goes to save, I, I, I will never understand. Alright. Is someone there? I'm gonna go call the super. Yeah, good idea. Damn it! They can't hear us. But why can't they hear me? I must not actually be calling to them. If I had to guess. Hmm. Let's uh, peek through this hole again. Maybe she went into a room and she's going to complain about it. Nope. Alright, we're going back in. Do I know what to expect? No. Back and on your PC. Sorry? What are you sorry about? You don't need to be sorry. All you missed was me getting terrified about wasps and... Um, or what I think were wasps. We found a orphanage run by a cult. How they got approval to run a cult, I will never understand. And yeah, and then I went to save. Now we're going back to the orphanage. I just want to know what the approval process was for that cult. We had a wasp nest in a tree at our house in Utah. I started World War Wasp. Yeah. Uh, good luck with that. Look, I... You guys will all unfortunately learn, and I'm not excited about this, but I'm going to be playing... Um, I think the PSVR 2 comes out next month, and I'm going to play through Resident Evil Biohazard and Resident Evil Village on the channel. And when I get to the Wasp part, I have a feeling a lot of my viewers are going to lose a lot of respect for me. <laughs> um, I don't know how I'm going to get through it. I think those are wasps. They're either ang angry moths or wasps. Your opinion will probably affect if I buy it or not. Oh, the PSVR 2? It doesn't come out till next month, so I don't know. I will, I'll, I'll have to let you guys know when I get it. I'm looking forward to it, though. I, um... I'm hoping there's not problems with it like they had with the PS5, where, uh scalpers you know obliterate the sales and uh but luckily someone someone pre-ordered it for me so hopefully i will be able to get it i don't know if they're wasps but the sound is what the sound the sound is what gets me there's something on the other side of the wire the netting my god it stinks I'll be watching. I have to pull a few extra 12-hour shifts to get one. Yeah. I don't even have a PS5 yet, though. Yeah, and it's for the PS5. So if you don't have that, that'll kind of be a problem. I got really lucky getting a PS5 because my um, my roommate, one of her co-workers, got like, a random email from PlayStation saying, hey, we're going to do a private um, like sale for ps5s where like you you got into like a waiting room and you could buy one like in a private room from playstation 
And they were like, we don't need a PlayStation right now. They're like, so if you want one, you can use our code. I was like, thank God, I will take it. If, if I hadn't got that, I probably still wouldn't have one. Yeah. They're just flies, they're just flies. So I'm gonna tell myself. This is it, this is Silent Hill. I haven't seen that place in a while. I took a trip there a few years back. There was a photo of the lake in my room. I can't read this writing. Okay, so we're going to Silent Hill now. That seems like a great idea. The upper body is missing. Was it some kind of goddess or something? Hmm. Hmm. What is this? Portable medical kit. Okay. I was at Walmart yesterday. They had three. Yeah, I think now, now I think they're finally um, able to stock them. But for like, seriously, it's like, what, three years since it came out? And only now they're finally having them on shelves? Maybe, maybe it has them in three years. Maybe that's an exaggeration. I just feel like it's definitely been a while, which a lot of people don't realize. The con console cycles are normally six years. It's normally six years, and then they come out with a new, uh, new generation. And we're almost halfway through the PS5 life cycle. So I'm assuming they're probably going to lengthen that time window, if I had to guess, especially with everything that's been going on in the world. But I could be wrong. I, I honestly, I'm surprised that they, you wait till they work the kinks out. See, you know, I know a lot of people that do that, but here was my problem. I remember the days when the PS3 launched. And if you wanted a PS3, the best time to get it was the first ones that launched because they were backwards compatible. And then they decided after like the first wave, ooh, we don't want to make them backwards compatible anymore. So every single PS3 after the first like, batch that launched were no longer backwards compatible. So unless you got them when they first came out, you were kind of out of luck. And that really, really, really pissed me off when I was young. I really wanted, I had a huge collection of PS2 games and I could no longer play them. Because those PS2s, sadly, they don't hold up. They don't, um, they don't age well. They tend to, they don't work as well as they used to as they get older. Mm -hmm. Which I some of these I think the next Silent Hill game I am going to be playing it on a PS2. So hopefully the PS2 can handle it. All right, let's store this. Let's store this. Do we want to take the gun yet? I don't think we do. I think we're going to stick with the crowbar for now. We're doing like a crowbar only playthrough so far. <laughs> Look, I I Oh, what if we run into a boss though? I probably should have a gun. Hmm. We're just going to hope we don't. I'll be screwed. All right, let's enter the hole. But yeah, I think the, the, the initial PS3s that launched were the... It was the last time that PlayStation had consoles that were fully backwards compatible. Because you could play PS1 and PS2 on it. And ever since then, they're no longer backwards compatible. I mean, the PS5 is backwards compatible with the PS4, but let's be honest, if they didn't do that, there would be no games on it. it would, you'd be pretty much stuck with a very small handful, so they kind of had to. I don't think they would have sold nearly as many if uh, they launched it without it being uh, compatible with the PS4. Damn it, so this is like a dead end. Hmm. Go back with the wasps. They look like moths. I don't think they're wasps. I think they're just... There's some long-handled tools here. What, they're outside now? Oh, God. Ugh. Makes me itchy. I'm 
I'm gonna have like crawly feelings on my skin for the probably the rest of the evening just because of the sound. All right, what's over here? There's some weird writing here too. Okay, and he can't read it, of course. It's locked. Of course, it's locked. Yeah, so if, if it came out on November 12th, then the next ones will be in 2020. So probably 2026 is when the next generation would launch. But the thing is, is when you look at what they're doing to the um, the internet uh, infrastructure, we may not get another console. I wouldn't be surprised if they move it to like a streaming service to where it's like you get the streaming service, whether it's on your phone or your TV. Sort of, I know they keep trying to do that with like... Um, PlayStation Plus or like Xbox Game Pass, but um, the biggest hurdle is most people don't have good enough internet. When I lived in Washington recently, I can tell you right now, I had like the best internet you could get there, and it's garbage. And if somewhere like Seattle and Washington, if their internet can't handle game streaming very well, that's a problem. So I think that once they get over that hurdle of the of having the right the, a good enough internet for the general public then I think that we'll probably get rid of consoles altogether. I think they'll probably, it'll, games will probably all be streaming, and then you'll never have a cycle of, gen of con new consoles. It'll just be when a new game comes out, it's on the service and you play it. At least that's what I, I know that they want to move to that model. I just I don't think they've been able to yet. I think they'd much rather have a service that you have to pay for every month. And... Um, and either buy your games or have a better tier service where you get access to the games as they come out. I'm not saying I want that system. I'm just saying I know that that's kind of what they're they plan on moving to at some point. Uh, one of you guys. I don't have time for you. You know what? I think it's kind of lame that they're immortal. I should be able to take them out. It kind of takes some of the fun out if, like, there's some enemies that when I see them, it's just like, all right, got to avoid them now. Is it one of the orphans? <laughs> He's like, no, no, we're not doing this. I'm not playing these games. What's going on over there? Oh, the guy's crawling through the portal. All right, I guess we'll go talk to the child. Is he still here? Yeah. All right, child, tell me your story. Hey, little boy. What are you doing here? His face. Oh, God. It's the guy. We need to get that guy a medic. <laughs> you really should not someone run around with that amount of uh, brain damage after a car accident. You really should get them help. Hey there, what? What happened? Okay, well, we're back. <laughs> if, uh, I mean, I'm just saying, guys, he does not seem to be all there, and I feel like it's kind of abuse to let him run around this, these woods like this. There's stuff scattered on the ground on the other side of the fence, like something was thrown away from over there. Hmm. Interesting. So what about the little boy? We're just hot. We're like, what are you doing here, little boy? And then the crazy guy runs out, and then we just no longer care. Okay. Child in a graveyard. Nothing to see here. Yeah, and he's just gone. What the heck? What's What's in the ground? The grave has been dug up. On the bottom of the coffin are the numbers. 11121. We've come across a lot of numbers. I hope we're going to remember them. I don't think we will. 
I can look back through chat. Usually people mention it. Just go back and see what what uh, Andrew had said. Wait, what's on top of this? I don't know. Weird. It's locked from the outside. Okay. I guess we go this way. There's a cliff on the other side of the fence. I can't go any further. What the heck? So can we go anywhere? This area has been really weird. It's like a lot of dead ends where we have a brief conversation or cutscene and then nothing happens. Maybe I'm supposed to go back to the room. We did find a portal, right? Yeah. All right, let's use our portal potty. Hmm. All right, back in the room. Anything different in here? No. Hmm. It all looks the same so far. What is she doing? What the heck? What? Has our neighbor gone crazy? She was swatting at nothing. Wait, one of the hand put maybe I uh, maybe this was the way it was earlier, but one of the hand put handprints is now more red. Either it's a new one or it's changed or I just am misremembering. It could honestly be any of those. All right. Well, our neighbor's gone crazy. Anything new in here? Doesn't look like it. Have any of you guys dealt with a crazy neighbor in your life? If so, tell me your story. I'm curious. Some of those are normally pretty entertaining. I have a pretty horrific story about one of mine. It's so bad, I don't even think I can share it on stream. It's, um, oh my god. You have, a, you have a good one? I was sued by your neighbor? Oh, wow. What Sued for what? Unless you can't talk about it for legal reasons. What is she doing? It's almost like she's floating. She keeps going like up. And down you got to get a beer it's that it's see it's that traumatizing for your diabolic it's like if we're gonna talk about this I need a drink it's like take a seat all right we'll take a seat we'll wait I don't think I've ever been sued by a neighbor I mean I, I know I haven't well what is that there's a, a, a balloon a rabbit balloon All right, I guess we'll save real quick. <laughs> We've saved seven times, apparently. Hopefully there's not a limit. Hmm, it doesn't seem like there's much more we can do here. Also, who is Walter and why won't he let us out? Let's see, how would we get this undone? So that one is, wait, where's the end? Oh, 
so that one is like really looped in. Hmm, I see. Yeah, it would be really hard to get this undone. It'd be quite the challenge. Yes, I am ready. Tell me about this story. I have a story from Utah and a story from Texas. Okay, so we got two neighbor stories. I'm ready. So we hear a kid. I wonder if it's uh, the boy. So he bought a house and the backyard just sloped down a major to a major road. Ooh, that's not good. We didn't have any kids yet, but we wanted to enclose it so that our kids had a place to play. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Especially if you owned it. But I can already guess where this is going. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, no thank you wolves damn that's pricey Okay. There's one dog that's different. Oh crap, crap, crap. Okay, so the yard is back filled and the top soil is down. Randomly attract person has at the neighborhood cat. Okay, that's weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll, I'm going to read out your full story once you're done with it. What was that? An arm coming up from the ground. Oh man, thank God, it's just a tree root. I don't want to know what that noise was. Hmm. It's a lot of writing we can't read. Another golf club? Um, if you want to send it to me in Discord, I can I can read it out from there if that's easier for you. 
Once you're once you're done, I'm gonna I'll I'll read it out on stream so uh, everyone can hear your story. Voice? Mm, probably not right now. I don't really have that set up to do right this second. Okay. Okay. All right, I don't know if I was supposed to go back here, but we're we're going back here. All right. Hmm. What? I can't look out these windows now? They're looking at me. They're both watching me now. What the heck? Hmm. can select What does he have on his tie? See, it's blue pictures of ladies on it. Hmm. Okay. Let's read Diabolic's crazy neighbor story. All right. So, Utah. So, we bought a house in the backyard just sloped down to a major road. We didn't have any kids yet, but we wanted to enclose it so that our kids had a place to play. So we have a contractor come and build a retaining wall, backfill, put sod down, and do a fence. We got the contractor's info from a neighbor, a, a not-so-great neighbor, we'll say. Um, so we're in the middle of a $17,000 project. The wall is done. It's four feet tall and eight thick. The yard is backfilled, and the topsoil is down. Randomly, a truck pulls up behind our house and is throwing trash in my backyard at the neighborhood cat. So I asked our neighbor's husband to come out with me just so I wasn't alone. There were four people in the truck. We had a neighborhood cat that we all took care of. She was just chilling in our yard. 
Turns out the truck had just run out of gas and they were waiting for their friends to come give them some. The friends arrived and they left. While her husband is out, the shift, we're going to call it the shifty, the shifty neighbor comes out with a camera in one hand and her grandson in the other arm. Young kid, maybe two or three, she was, so she was carrying him. So she comes out. We assume she was trying to get some sort of evidence on camera or something. She had sued other people before us, so that should have been a red flag. Well, she didn't want to put footprints in the topsoil, so she began walking on the wall with her grandson. We asked her not to, but she insisted. Eventually, so she was trespassing. Eventually, my wife convinced her to pass her grandchild off to her so that he wasn't on the wall. She eventually lost her balance and hopped down so that she wouldn't fall. It was four feet to the sidewalk below. She shattered a bone in her foot. She filed a claim against my homeowner's insurance policy, and they said that they were that we were not at fault because the danger was obvious and she knew about the work being done. So she served us paper personally. She filed a claim against my homeowner's policy saying that that we were not at, and, and they said that we were not at fault because the danger was obvious and she knew about oh yeah. Um I reread that. So USAA ended up fronting my defense bill and got us a badass attorney that got the case thrown out. After that, she would yell at us and flick us off from her yard. Her husband would do the same. He would also yell at, at the neighbors across the street that we were good friends with. We ended up filing several police reports and managed to get this two stalking injunctions against them. We settled in court for them to just keep to themselves. Yeah, that does sound pretty crazy. That's um, So, so she, she knew that the wall was uh, clearly dangerous. Obviously, why would you walk on it? So she was only doing it to try to get money from you is what it sounds like. But, um, hi, Red Rain. Yeah, um, I have never played through the Silent Hill series, so I started with the first one, and we just now reached four. And I am enjoying it so far. It's pretty cool. It's very different from the other ones, and I'm liking it. I was not expecting the first-person aspects, which is pretty creepy. Um, the amount they sued you for was $125,000? Was the amount she had left on her mortgage? Wow. <laughs> Some people are crazy. They just, I mean, they look for an opportunity to, to basically, I mean, they're, they're basically trying to rob you is really what it is. It's just, it's just a sketchy way of stealing money from you. Almost a more messed up way than just outright taking it. Yeah. Tell me about the Texas neighbor. Now I'm curious. All right. You can let me know when you're done with it and I'll, uh, I'll read it out. Yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. I mean, I'm not surprised. People have done crazier things than that. So, I mean, it's it's not surprising. All right, I'm going back in the hole. <laughs> so much hole traveling in this game. Also, I like how um, the first time we actually had to crawl through it, now we just zip on through. I get why they had you zip on through, but I almost wish I could crawl through it again. It was kind of cool. I'm still worried about that monster noise I heard over here. <sighs> Hello, friend. I wish you no harm. Wait, is that a shovel? Can we take that? So Silent Hill's two story. That is a thing. I actually really enjoyed the story in Silent Hill 2. Of course, I got the good ending. And I feel like so far, out of the ones I've played, because I haven't finished this one yet, so I don't really know how I feel about it. But out of the first three, I think my favorite might be 2. I think that 2, uh, it was very weird, but it was... the the It was very impactful. And the way that they did... Oh, God. So what is making that noise? I I, heard, I hear it every time I'm over here. Um, the way they did Mary's story was if you've ever lost a loved one to something like that and you know the trauma that families deal with around that, it was actually pretty good. Um, it By good, I mean they touched on a lot of those emotional beats really well. So I was I was actually impressed with it. I, got, I'll, I'll, I won't lie. I got a little teared up at the end uh, of the credits because, um, yeah, I thought they did a really good job with it. 
Now, as far as the story across the whole thing, yeah, it was definitely a little crazy, but I'm just talking about how they closed it all off. Really? So, I, I have theories about 4 so far, and I'm probably wrong, but based on how it's been going so far, I can't help but feel that Henry is crazy, and that he may not exactly be the good guy. But I'm, I'm really enjoying this one so far. It was kind of hard to find a copy of it. But it's... I'm, I'm definitely liking it. So far, this one, gameplay-wise, I feel like it's a lot smoother than the previous ones. It's definitely a little more enjoyable to play through. So far, it could change. What in the world? Yeah, I, I've ordered the other ones in the series. So once we finish this, I'm going to move on to Origins and then uh, Homecoming, I think, then uh, Shattered Memories and Downpour. Which I've heard mixed things about some of the other ones, but I'm still excited to play through them. I think the only one I probably won't play through is, um, I think, Book of Memories, because that one is a PlayStation Vita, or Vita, however you say it. And I don't have one of those, so I probably will play it at some point in the future if I ever get a hold of, of one of those. But I've heard it's more of like a, a top-down dungeon crawler kind of game, so it, it, it may not really be considered part of the main story. Ooh, the guy's over here. Let's see what what he has to say now. Surprise! He's still invincible. But, but the door won't open. That nosy child just gave me something really good. I, I, I could let you have it, but 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 but. Not oh, thanks for the follow, Red Rain. Welcome to the uh, the channel. He's thirsty. Oh, we can give him the chocolate milk. Probably. Okay, you're done with your story? All right, I will read it in just a moment. He does want chocolate. All right, let's go get him the chocolate milk. Hopefully he's still here when we get back. All right, I'm going to read uh, Diabolic's next crazy neighbor story. And uh, Red Rain, if you've ever dealt with a crazy neighbor and you have a story, feel free to tell me. I've I'm, I'm been I'm reading some stories about them. They're kind of funny. Or not funny, but a little crazy. All right, so the next one. Okay, so we had a corner lot, and we lived behind a 70-year-old guy and his wife. He was black, and she was French which is important later for reasons I can't understand. We needed to replace the fence because our dog accidentally got, got through because it was rotten. We asked if he was willing to help at all, and his answer was, no, I have a house payment, car payment, and tuition for my grandkid for college. Which, I mean, so far in the story, that, that seems fair enough. We were like, okay, can we use the fence posts that are on your side of the property line? He said we could if we paid him for them. Of course, of course he did. Um, we decided that we would just have a fence put in completely on our side of the yard. Okay, I can I can already imagine where this is going. Um, so we did that, and he was super mad because we asked for access to the other side when a couple pickets warped. Cops had to be called, and he said that he he wouldn't let no white kid walk on him. On him. I was super confused because we had always been cordial to each other. What set him off was that since he wanted to be paid to use the posts, we had to make it so that the fence pickets faced his house, instead of the other way around. His wife was the most rude person I've ever interacted with. For being in her late 60s slash early 70s, she was super rude. There are a lot of smaller details, but that's it. Cops apologized to me. Gotcha. So, it sounds to me, just from the gist of it, that he, he wanted to get money out of it, and because you found a way around it, he decided to maybe make it a race thing? Either way, that's kind of crazy. Alright, let's grab that chocolate milk. 
I haven't I haven't really dealt with any neighbors having any sort of racial problems. It seemed like he also had his own prejudices. It, based on what you're saying, it does sound like that's definitely a possibility. And the thing is, is he may not have. He may have. It's possible he was just using that as an excuse. I know some some people do do that. Yeah. I always find it weird when people will bring race into something when it doesn't really fit. But I kind of grew up in a very multiracial family. So to me, I as growing up as a kid, I never really know, not that I didn't notice the differences, but they weren't really something I really looked at at all, like as far as noticeable traits. It was just I looked at more of them as a person. So when I see people make it about that for no reason, it, it always blows my mind. Like, why? Like, what is your, why are you doing that? But anyway. Probably not a conversation for Twitch. I don't know what Twitch's rules are about talking about that, even if it's um, not a negative conversation. All right, how do I give him the chocolate milk? There we go. Wow, he's just chugging the whole thing. We should have mixed it with wine like I talked about. We fixed his stutter? Oh, no, we didn't. I thought for a second that us giving him chocolate milk cured his stutter. It's like, wow, that's that's all he needed was some chocolate milk. It's like those those commercials where someone needs a, a, a what was it a, a is it a Twix bar? They need a Twix. Maybe it's Snickers. Either way, I know there's some commercials where they're not the same unless they have their Twix bar or whatever. I will take it. Opposite where the lake and house meet, inside the hand holding onto the ground. Ooh, we know where that is. Wait, opposite the hand. Is it on the map? Hmm. So it's probably... It's probably this way. No, it's to the right? It can't be that way. Hmm. I'm misremembering where that hand was. Ah, we'll find it. I think it might actually be this way. Could it be over here? Hmm. So I need to find out where I'm supposed to dig. I guess it probably is those roots, specifically, if I had to guess. Which I think I went the wrong way. Although I did hear someone banging around in here. What's this? What could this be here for? Hmm. Maybe they're brewing something. I could fight the dogs, but honestly, because there's so many enemies that are immortal, I feel like it's best just to avoid them. Crap, they're blocking the door.
You know, we keep hearing that that um, howling every time we come in here, but I don't see any sort of wolf or coyote or anything. Hmm. You missed. Wait, this was the cemetery, wasn't it? Yeah, it's not going to be over here. It's going to be the last place we check, of course. Or the last place that we can check. Yeah, it's not going to be over here. Watch it actually be over there. Hello, friend. I vote ghost as the most unfair. I agree. I don't understand why they're they're immortal. It's um. I like I don't see a point in fighting them. Like when I first encountered them earlier, I started playing this today for the first time. I just spent a while just fighting them repeatedly and kicking them while they were down. It's like okay, why do they keep getting back up? And I was like, well, what's the point of even fighting them if they're if you can't kill them? I think it's best just to run away from them. And the fact that I'm now getting used to running away from enemies, I'm just like, I may as well run away from all of them. <laughs> Especially since your health restores whenever you return to uh, the room. Wait, am I heading the wrong way again? I might be. No, no, no. Here we go. Hmm. I don't like the sound of this. I've got a bad feeling about this. Rusted bloody key. The holder of this key will wander for eternity. So I do remember reading something earlier saying that I needed to put away the key. So do I, my, my, what I'm wondering right now is should I go and put this in the chest at home or should I go use it on the door to the, to the orphanage? I guess we'll try to go to the orphanage first. Oh God. This already seems bad. Have I made a terrible mistake? I have. Okay, so I guess I have to go through the portal. Alright, going in. So, um, Red Rain, did you have any, uh, have you ever dealt with a crazy neighbor or no? I'm assuming not, since she didn't say anything. Actually, I can tell one crazy neighbor story. Um, I mean, I have one that I really can't share, unfortunately. I want to, but it's unfortunately a little too... I don't think it's stream friendly, but... Um... But I had one when I was a kid. There was this um, family that lived next door to us. And underneath, so in the basement of our house, there was a little garage. But it wasn't a garage that had like a door. It was like an open garage where you just put like equipment underneath. It was under a deck. And the house didn't used to have that garage. So there was used to be a window that looked outside. And where the garage was built was um, where that window once was. So if you were to look out that window, you'd just be looking into the garage. And I was probably maybe nine ten years old and we would often watch that window because uh, raccoons or stray cats would come and sit in that window and look in and i remember one day i was down there's probably like maybe it was probably late in the evening it was definitely dark outside probably around maybe nine ten o'clock i don't actually know but i uh 
I, it's still creepy thinking back to it because I can picture it vividly. But I just remember looking up because I saw a movement. I was like, oh, it's a raccoon. And I just see this person's face just staring in the window. And it was the neighbor. And um, I remember running to my parents to tell them. And they, of course, looked out the window and saw him, like, running off. But so but I don't know if they called the police. I was pretty young. But I just, I just remember vividly the face of him just staring in the window at us, which is creepy because he would have had to come over our fence, come underneath the deck, go inside that little garage and just peek in the window at us. Um, I don't think anything happened with the neighbor because he was still there from the, for the next you know few years that we lived in the house, but never saw him again um, in, in our yard. Still don't know why he was there. It could have just been one of those people that just creep, on, creep in windows. I don't know. I, I should probably I should probably ask the people I lived with what happened with that situation because I don't know. That's about all I know about it. I can't really think of any other neighbor situations I've had that um, I can talk about. I'll tell you what. Uh, if you guys want to hear that story, I'll tell it to you guys on the Discord. I think I can tell it on there. The the one that I can't speak about here. All right, so let's store the key in here. Or, or maybe I'm supposed to... Hmm. We'll see. Maybe I'm supposed to actually take it back through the portal because it'll take me to that place. I don't know. We'll see. I wonder if that, that child voices I'm hearing in there, I wonder if that was the kid that we saw in the graveyard. Or if it's the girl that we see in the loading screens, like, floating all around. Hello, person. I shouldn't say person, I guess ghost. So um, Diabolic, it's actually a good thing that you, that you guys voted, or I guess you voted on um, <laughs> on playing Silent Hill tonight because I so I, I got I went to look at all the Halo games that I had because you know, I've never played Halo, but um, I have most of them, and uh, turns out I don't have the first one, <laughs> so it would have uh, I we would have been playing Silent Hill anyway. So luckily I know someone that has it, so he's going to get me a, a copy of the first one so that we can um, play through that series since I've never played it before. It's locked, of course. Oh, now we probably go through the portal, get the key, and then come back. I know, right? I thought I did. I really did. But apparently I own um, all of them except for five, infinite, and the first one consider your subscription canceled look i i'm going to get what get get it soon um within a within a month i just it's um i have a family member that that has it and he says he'll uh, bring it over whenever he has time so so don't worry we're gonna play through them at some point <laughs> but we have um i think most likely because i just got the next silent hill in the mail today i just got to test it make sure it works uh because it's a ps2 and i'm not sure how much how well it's gonna function and i got i bought a thing for my ps2 that'll allow me to use well i haven't tested it yet so i don't know how well it works but i got a thing that'll let me use like ps5 controllers with the ps2 which will be so great because the biggest thing i've been worried about is the ps2 controllers because if you've ever used ps2 controllers they didn't last long and i have no idea if the ones that i have um and all locked up in storage are going to be functional so but yeah, so we'll, we'll we once we finish this game, we're either gonna play that or we're gonna play the Dead Space remake because that comes out this month, and we're definitely gonna play that when the day it launches, if not the day after it launches. Okay, so I need the key, which I'm really excited for the Dead Space remake. I I'm, I'm skeptical if it'll be better than the original because they're changing a lot, and I've I've listened to a few of the interviews where they've talked about the changes that they are making. And it's a little concerning to me because it seems like they may not um, be respecting the original, um, not intent, but the original, not design, but there was there were very specific choices they made in, in some of the character designs when they made Dead Space. 
And from what I've heard some of the developers say who are remaking it about why they're making certain changes, they're very much not in the spirit of the original. It doesn't mean it'll be bad. It could be great. So I'm definitely going to play it and I'm excited for it. I just, I have slight reservations. The only time I am good at that is in Nightmares. Oh man, I, I think the delay, the stream delay, I don't know what specifically you were referring to. Um, the only time you're good at that is in Nightmares. Wait, your brain is... Uh, I should have read the earlier one. My brain is good at coming up with horror, but there's one small problem. The only time... Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I actually have a few ideas for some horror games that I really want to make. So if I ever um, have the funds, there's there's a, uh, a very specific horror game I plan on making. I'm really excited about it. I, I, I keep thinking of new ideas for it. I'm like, oh, I wish I could make it. Because I have a lot of experience doing... Um, like modding and custom games like I would uh, make zombie maps for uh, Black Ops 3 and so I know and I also used to back when I was a kid I just I discovered the mod tool well, not the mod tools but the creator tools for Star Wars Republic Commando if you ever played that game and I remember as a kid just stumbling across the creator tools the developers whole system they used and I was like oh my god I can completely make my own game here and so I was modding the crap out of Republic Commando as a kid that was fun so I have a pretty good idea of how game design works and how to build levels, stuff like that. So I'm just not super great with scripting. But I can always hire someone to help me with that if I, if I have the funds to make my own game. Plus, I know someone who's good at scripting, so or at least understands it. But it's, it's a horror game unlike other any other horror games because it's based more in... Um, playing off the player's expectations and subverting them and making you not really be able to predict what's happening or when you do predict it, it kind of works against you. And the way that the AI is designed is intentionally trying to screw with you. And I don't mean just like mess with you, I just mean like it's trying to work against what you expect it's, it's going to do. Wait, why is he in here with us? I don't like that he's following us. Leave, please. Thank you. Yes, just go over there. More. A little closer. No, no. A little further. Why are you itchy all the time? We need to get this guy to a doctor. Ever since he got in that car accident, he's been a little... out of it? This is the worst orphanage I've ever seen. We're not even in the Silent Hill world. Or uh, the underworld, the other side, whatever you want to call it. It's falling apart, and I can't even read most of the pages. Here's a part I can read. The second sign, and God said, Offer the blood of the ten sinners and the white oil. By then, released from the bonds of the flesh, and gain the power of heaven, from the darkness and void, bring forth gloom, and gird thyself with despair for the giver of wisdom. The third sign, and God said, return to the source through sin's temptation. We have the temptation plate. Under the watchful eye of the demon, wander alone in the formless chaos. Only then will the four atonements be in alignment. Okay. Seems like a great orphanage. Why couldn't I... Oh, is, did, is someone coming in, or did he leave? The guy's gone. Did he go in there? Oh, no. What do we think happened to him? He's probably dead, isn't he? Oh, 
Did we do that to him? We read that note. And then this happened to him immediately. So did we do it? Hmm. I see. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that, guys. All right. I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a good time. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.